we'll get into it. Uh, my name is Jennifer. I'm substituting for Amanda. I'm usually on my mat at this time of the week, at this day of the week, um, but this time I'm teaching. So it's exciting for me to be here. Some new faces or faces I haven't had in a class before or in a long time. Um, so we're going to get started in child's pose. Uh, knees spread wide, big toes come to touch. Reach your fingers long out in front of you. Press your forehead down into the earth. Begin to settle in, settle into being in your body, feeling your toes, feeling your fingers. Begin to cultivate your ujjayi breath here as you're in child's pose. That's that oceanic sound as you slightly constrict the back of your throat when you exhale through your nose. This ujjayi breath, the victorious ujjayi breath, heats you from within. So you can build an inner fire just with your breath. And during this practice, I can offer hands-on assists. If you do not want to be touched for any reason, whatever the reason, raise your hand now so that I can see. Thank you. Big, full breath in, and a big, full breath out. Let your neighbor hear your breath. When you support your practice with a strong ujjayi breath, it also supports your neighbor's practice. And this season, I'm working on accessing joy through being grateful. When we're grateful for things, grateful for our to-do list, for all of the things that we need to get done, all of the people in our lives that we love and care about, that is our access to joy. So just as we cultivate ujjayi breath, just as we practice a yoga practice, we can also begin a gratitude practice. So right here on your mat, think of three things that you are grateful for. Maybe sink each one with a breath in and a breath out. And when you've made your list of three things that you are grateful for, make your way to downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, send your hips high towards the sky. Spread your fingers wide on your mat. Root down through your first finger and thumb knuckle. Energe energetically send your heels down towards the back of your mat, even if they don't reach. Send energy out your heels. Big breath in. And a big breath out. Again, fill up. And then empty. One more big breath in. Let it go. Walk your feet to your hands at the front of your mat. Take rag doll. Feet hips width distance apart. That's about two fists width. Clasp opposite elbows with opposite hands. Press down through each heel as you let your head hang heavy. Big breath in. And a big breath out. Again, fill up and let something go.
catch your hips with your hands with a long straight spine come to stand at the front of your mat hands at heart center activate the four corners of your feet right here in Tadasana this action the pressing down through the soles of our feet hug your outer shins in pit of the belly in and up as your tailbone descends shoulders stack over hips ears over shoulders and carry this muscle energy with you through today's practice we'll begin with one ohm big breath in Oh. And drop your fingers down by your sides. Act, press your feet into the earth. Shoulders away from your ears. Big breath in. And a big breath out extended mountain reach up expand out through your side bodies look up see your fingers maybe you could see the wall behind you exhale forward fold halfway lift breathe in with a long spine plant your hands to the mat step back to a high plank make your way halfway down to low plank untuck your toes press the earth away from you upward facing dog breathe in downward facing dog breathe out three breaths here and can you practice gratitude for your practice can you be grateful for your ability today regardless of what it was like yesterday. Drop the should, could, would, and just be. Just be here in your body, in your feet, in your hands, in your breath. Inhale, bend your knees, look at your thumbs, jump. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Extended mountain, press down, reach up, rise up, expand out through bright fingers towards the ceiling. Big breath in, exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in, long spine, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, full inhale, arm bones back, gaze forward, downward facing dog. Fill up. Yeah, and empty. Again, breathe in and let it go. One more breath. Empty. Inhale, bend your knees. Look at your thumbs, top of your mat. Halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Extended mountain, press down, reach up, rise up, get big, take up space. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Hands to the mat, vinyasa flow, high plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, untuck your toes, big breath in. Downward facing dog, big breath out. Breath in and breath out. Inhale, bend your knees, top of your mat, jump. Halfway lift, forward fold. Last sun salutation A, press down, reach up, rise up, baby back bend here. Exhale, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, press the earth away, full breath in, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale fully and send your breath away. Inhale, bend your knees, look at your thumbs, top of your mat, silently jump. Halfway lift and forward fold. Utkatasana, chair pose, big toes come to touch. Sit deep into your heels. Stretch your toes out on the mat. Big breath in. Sit two inches deeper. You've got this big full inhale. Exhale, forward fold. 
halfway lift, breathe in, hands to the mat, vinyasa flow, high plank to low plank, upward facing dog, take the full breath in, downward facing dog, let all the breath go. Right foot steps forward, left heel plants, warrior one, step, press, reach, breathe in, 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 hands to the mat, high plank to low plank, upward facing dog, full inhale, press your heart to the fireplace, downward facing dog. Left foot, warrior one, press, reach up, see the ceiling up above you, even here, exhale, hands to the mat, high plank, to low plank, upward facing dog, big inhale, Downward facing dog, big exhale. Inhale, bend your knees, look at your thumbs, top of your mat. Half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Utkatasana, chair pose number two. Sit deep, squeeze everything into the pit of your belly. Big breath in, sit one inch deeper. Fill up, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, press the earth away, build that inner fire. Downward facing dog, sigh it out. Breath in and breath out. Right foot steps forward, left heel plants, warrior one. Press, reach, expand. Exhale, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, arm bones back. Press your heart forward, downward facing dog, hips high. Left foot, warrior one. Step, press, reach. Exhale, hands to the mat, high plank, low plank. Upward facing dog, big breath in. Downward facing dog, big breath out. Inhale, bend your knees, look at your thumbs, jump. Halfway lift, forward fold. Utkatasana, chair pose, third one. Sit deep into your heels, fingers reach to the sky. Big breath in, sit two inches deeper. One more big inhale, exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in, dance with your breath, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, untuck your toes, press the earth away, breathe in, downward facing dog, hips high. Breath in and breath out. This is your practice. If you want to take child's pose at any time, it's completely your practice. Similarly, if you would like to take a three-legged vinyasa at any time, it's also your practice. Big breath in, open mouth, side out. One more big inhale, let it go. Right foot steps forward, crescent lunge. Left heel high over your toes. Stack your front knee over your front ankle. If your knee is over your ankle, take a longer stance. Bend deep into your front thigh. Can you bring your front thigh parallel to the earth? So yeah, Jamie, take a longer stance. Yes, yes. Squeeze your inner thighs in towards one another. Stretch your fingers towards the sky. Big breath in. Let it go. One more big inhale. Hands to heart center. Revolve crescent to the right. Elbow to knee, knee to elbow. Open your wings if that's there for you. Left fingers down, right fingers reach. Spin your heart to the chakra wall as you hug in, expand out. Big breath in, let it go. One more big inhale. Open up to warrior two. Gaze out over your front middle finger. Big, beautiful inhale, big exhale. 
flip your front palm, reverse your warrior, breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, exhale, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank, upward facing dog, big inhale, press the earth away, downward facing dog, hips high, left foot steps forward, right heel plants, warrior one. Open up to warrior two. Stack front knee over front ankle. Track your knee towards your pinky toe. So press into my hand. Yeah. Press the four corners of your foot straight down into the earth. Bright, energetic fingers. Big breath in. Big breath out. Flip your palm. Reverse your warrior. Inhale. Inhale, inhale, exhale, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank, upward facing dog, untuck your toes, press them into the mat, breathe in, down dog, breathe out. Inhale, bend your knees, look at your thumbs, jump. Halfway lift, breathe in, exhale, forward fold. Utkatasana, chair pose. Squeeze everything into the midline of your body. Big breath in. Hands to heart center. Prayer twist to the right. Elbow to knee, knee to elbow. Sit your hips lower than your heart. Big breath in. Big breath out. Open your wings if that's there for you. Breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Utkatasana, chair pose, sit deep. Fingers reach, big breath in. Hands to heart center, prayer twist to the left. Elbow to knee, knee to elbow. Squeeze in, open your wings, full breath in. And a big breath out. One more big inhale. Forward fold. Toe heel your feet, hips width distance apart. Grab a hold of your big toes with your peace fingers. Pull your elbows east and west as you bring your chest down towards your thighs. Let your head hang heavy here. Big breath in. Beautiful breath out. Release your grip. Place your hands directly underneath your shoulders. Set up for crow. Bend your knees. Squeeze your knees into the backs of your triceps. Squeeze your feet in towards the center of your mat. Gaze forward. Pit of the belly in and up. Hug skin to muscle to bone as you fly into crow. Big breath in. Big breath out. Shoot it back to a high plank. Low plank, upward facing dog, big inhale, breathe in, downward facing dog, breathe out. Lift your right leg high, strong and straight behind you. Bend your knees, stack your hips, open up, come onto the tippy toes of your left toes and flip your dog. Both feet face 12 o'clock, press down through your heels, reach to the front of the room. If full wheel is there for you, look to where your fingers are reaching. Big breath in, big breath out. Flip back over, side plank, right hand center of your mat, left fingers reach, hug in as you expand out. Lift your top leg, even just two inches, press down. Downward facing dog. Big breath in. Sigh it out. <sighs> Again, breathe in. Let it go. Left leg high, strong and straight. Bend your knees, stack your hips, open up and flip your dog. Both feet point at 12 o'clock. Reach to the fireplace, reach your fingers towards the floor. Maybe full wheel is available on this side. Look to where your fingers are reaching. Press your hips to the sky. Flip your dog back over, side plank, left hand center of your mat. 
Left knife's edge of your foot presses down. Lift your top leg just an inch, two inches. Squeeze in and expand out. Beautiful work, yogis. Downward facing dog. Big breath in. Sigh it out. <sighs> Inhale, bend your knees. Look at your thumbs. Jump. Halfway lift, long spine. Forward fold. Catch your hips with your hands. Come to stand, long straight spine. And set up for eagle. Press the sole of your right foot strong into the earth. Find your drishti point. So find something that you can gaze at that's not moving. Left thigh comes up and over. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Left arm up and under. Squeeze. Everything that's touching, squeeze it into the center midline of your body. Elbows in line with your shoulders. Pull your arm bones back. Big breath in. Exhale, unwind, come back to standing. Set up for eagle, left foot presses into the earth. Right thigh up and over. And the equanimity sequence, our drishti, our gaze is of utmost importance. You fix your gaze, you become unmessable with. Elbows in line with your shoulders, pull your arm bones one more big breath in, unwind, come back to standing, eagle second set, right side. Press your right foot strong, strong, strong into the earth. Left thigh up and over, squeeze. Left arm up and under, squeeze. Set your gaze. Unwind, come back to standing. Eagle, last one, left foot presses down, right thigh up and over. Squeeze everything in. Unwind, come back to standing. Set up for single leg raise airplane half moon. So have the brick ready underneath your right hand for when we get to half moon, it'll be right there. So like if you lean forward, the brick should be right under where your hand touches the floor. Bring your left knee into your chest, right hand to your hip, actively press all four corners of your right foot down, set your gaze, set your drishti, reach down, grab a hold of your big toe with your peace fingers, take the yogi toe lock, maybe you stay here. Maybe you slightly kick out through your heel, slowly open your leg out to the side. Woo. Come back to center. Extend your leg long, fingers reach high towards the sky. Kick your heel towards the fireplace, big breath in. Airplane, arms back by your sides, palms face the earth. Kick out through your back heel. Find your baby cobra here, gaze forward. Big breath in and a beautiful breath out. One more big inhale. Hands to heart, center, half moon, right hand down to the earth or the brick. Kick out through your back leg, stomp down through your standing foot. Big inhale, big exhale. One more big breath in. Slowly join both feet on the mat and come to stand. Move the brick, put it under your left hand. Single leg raise opposite side. So press your left foot strong into the mat. Activate your entire leg. Lift your kneecap, hug, skin to muscle to bone. Right knee into your chest, set your gaze. Reach down, take the yogi toe lock, press out through your heel. Slowly open out to the side. Come back to center, extend out through your leg, fingers high, kick out through your heel. 
arms back by your side, airplane, kick your right leg back, back behind you, point your toes straight towards the earth. Yes, bright energetic fingers. Big inhale, let it go. One more big breath in, hands to heart center, half moon, left hand down to the earth or a brick. Stomp down through your standing leg to kick out through your back heel. Big breath in and a big breath out. One more big inhale. Join both feet on the mat and slowly come to stand. Take a big breath in and let it go. Dance or pose, right side. Press your right foot into the earth, right arm high. Left hand out like it's going to carry a tray. Grab a hold of the inside of your left foot and kick your foot into your hand. Pull back on your foot with your hand. Big breath in and a big breath out. Come back to standing. Switch sides. Left hand high, right arm out. Press into my hand. Grab a hold of the inside and kick and pull. Set your gaze. Big breath in, big breath out. Come back to standing and set up for tree. Press your right foot into the earth. Left foot comes to ankle, calf, or inner thigh. Yogi's choice. Press your foot into your leg, your leg right back into your foot. Energetically send your bent knee back towards the pond. Set your gaze. When you're ready, spread your branches. Trace a line across the ceiling. See the ceiling up above where you are. Hands to heart center. Give your left leg a little kick. Join both feet on the mat. Tree, opposite side. Left foot presses down. Right foot, ankle, calf, or inner thigh. When you're ready, spread your branches. See the ceiling right up above where you are. Find the baby back bend even here. Hands to heart center. Give your right leg a little kick. Join both feet on the mat. Make your way to the top of your mat. Take a giant breath in and send it away. Extended mountain. Press down. Reach up. Expand out through your side bodies. Big inhale. Exhale forward. Fold. Halfway lift. Breathe in. Long spine. Hands to the mat. High plank to low plank. Upward facing dog, full inhale. Downward facing dog, full exhale. Shift your weight forward into a high plank, low plank. Press the earth away, high plank, low plank. One more high plank. Lower down, five, four, three, two, one, untuck your toes, place your arms down by your sides, palms facing the earth. Place your favorite ear on the mat. We're setting up for locust pose. On your next inhale, zip your two legs into one, fly your hands, heart, feet, lift. Fly up off the mat, squeeze in and fly. Stay here, let your breath go. Get two inches higher as you breathe in. Let your breath go. Two inches higher, breathe in. Lower all the way down. Place your other ear on the mat. Take a big breath in. Send it away. Locust, second set, zip it up and fly. Breathe in, rise up. Stay, let your breath go. 
two inches higher as you breathe in. Let your breath go. Last big breath in, rise up. Lower all the way down. Big inhale. Big exhale. Floor bow. Bend your knees. Grab your feet or your ankles. Squeeze your knees in towards one another. Kick your feet into your hands. Pull back on your feet with your hands and rise up. Breath in. Maybe you want to rock your floor bow to one side, back to center, then the other. Explore the shoulder opening as you rock from side to side. One more big breath in. Lower all the way down. Release your grip. Windshield wipe your legs from side to side. Floor bow, second set. Bend your knees, grab your feet, grab your ankles. Rock your floor bow to the other side. Find movement here. Just be curious. Notice what sensations arise, what emotions arise. Breathe into them. Come back to center. Release your grip. Windshield wipe your legs from side to side. Big breath in. And a beautiful breath out. Extend your legs out long on your mat. Press yourself up into an upward facing dog. Toes untucked, knees lift, thighs lift. Big breath in, downward facing dog. Come down to your knees and set up for camel. Everybody's got a brick. You can take the brick in between your knees. Toes tucked or untucked, squeeze the brick. Pit of the belly in and up, lower ribs pull in, tailbone descends. Place your hands at the small of your back, fingers down or fingers up, reverse prayer hands, yogi's choice. Pull the pit of the belly in and up, send your hips towards the fireplace, your gaze up towards the sky. Reach back, see if you can grab one heel. If you've got one, try for the other. Keep pressing your hips towards the fireplace. Gaze towards the sky. Squeeze the brick. Long, slow, steady breaths. Breath in and breath out. One more big inhale. Slowly come out of camel. Untuck your toes. Sit back on your heels. Take a big breath in. And let it go. Camel, second set. Set it up. Toes tucked or untucked, yogi's choice. Pit of the belly in and up. Press your heart towards the sky. Lean into the unknown. Lean into where you cannot see in camel. And trust yourself. Big breath in. And a big breath out. Slowly come out of camel. Untuck your toes. Sit back on your heels. Breath in. And breath out. Extend both legs long out in front. Come to lie on your back. We're setting up for bridge. So knees bent, heels just close enough that you can touch them with your middle fingers. Extend your arms straight up towards the sky. Plug your shoulders into their sockets. Pull your shoulders straight back down into the mat. Bend your elbows, place your elbows down by your ribs, either side of your rib cage, squeeze in. Press down through your heels and your triceps, send your hips high towards the sky. You can stay here or you can clasp your hands at the small of your back. Begin to walk your shoulder blades underneath you for a further heart opener. Press your fist down into the mat, your forearms down into the mat. Big breath in and a big breath out. One more big inhale. Slowly lower all the way down. Breath in. And breath out. 
Number two, bridge. If you're taking bridge, you know where to go. You are just there. If you're taking full wheel, hands on either sides of your ears. Bring the crown of your head to the earth. Press down through your hands and feet. Send your heart towards the pond. Yeah, press down through your heels. Six, five, four. Keep breathing. Two, one. Lower all the way down. One breath in. One breath out. And then set it up again. Yogi's choice. Bridge or wheel. Whatever's calling to you. No story. Just go right into the pose. Resist the urge to tell a story. Because your mind will take you out. Your mind will find a million reasons why you should just stay there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower all the way down. Big breath in, big breath out. Last one, last one of your Wednesday practice, bridge or wheel, what will it be? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower all the way down. Take Supta Baddha Konasana. Press the soles of your feet together. Place one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. Let your knees spread wide. And just notice. Notice your heartbeat. Notice your breath as your belly rises and falls with your breath in and your breath out. And right here in these quiet moments, practice gratitude. These little moments in between that link us from what was to what will be, what could be. Take in a full body stretch. Reach your toes towards the fireplace, your fingers towards the pond. Stretch out through your toe tips. Flex, point. Get longer through your left foot, your right foot. Take up space. Big breath in and a beautiful breath out. Extend both legs high up towards the sky. Pull your toes back towards your nose. Clasp your hands at the nape of your neck. Lift your breastbone towards the sky. So lift your shoulders up off the earth. Yes. Lower your right foot down to two inches up off the mat. And then switch. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26. Smile. 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring your knees into your chest. Take a big breath in. Give yourself a big hug. abdominal twists. Clasp your hands at the nape of your neck. Extend your right leg long and flex your foot. Bring your right elbow to your left knee. Flex your foot on your right foot and then switch. Yes, and then switch. Kick out through your heel. Yes, as you alternate. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pull your knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug. One big beautiful breath in and one big beautiful breath out. Make your way to downward facing dog.
Extend your right leg high, strong, and straight. Point your toes down towards the earth. Press out through your heel. Now bend your knee. Stack your hips. Feel the opening. Press down harder through your right hand to square your shoulders towards the mat. Big breath in. As you exhale, press out through your heel. Big inhale. Half pigeon, right knee to right wrist. Walk your left foot a couple of inches back behind you, straight out from your hip. If your right hip is high up off the ground, you can place a block under your hip. And when you're ready, take sleeping pigeon. Extend your fingers out long in front. You can bring your forehead down to the earth or a brick. A lot of things happen in hip openers. We notice things, sensations arise. Emotions crop up, things we never expected to have happen. Breathe in for a count of five and out for a count of six. Bring your fingertips back up onto your mat. Tuck your left toes. Extend your right leg long, three-legged dog with your right leg high. Take some knee circles, some hip circles as the blood comes back into your leg. Feel your pinky toe on your foot, maybe in a different way than the beginning of class. Downward facing dog. Extend your left leg. High, strong, and straight. Toes point straight down towards the earth. Press out through your heel. Square your hips towards the earth, first of all, yeah. Bend your knees, stack your hip. Now feel that opening. Press down stronger through your left shoulder to square your shoulders towards the earth. Half pigeon, left knee to left wrist. Walk your right leg back out behind you. When you're ready, take sleeping pigeon. Breathe in for five and out for six. Keep coming back to your breath.
walk your fingers back up onto your mat. Tuck your right toe, take a three-legged dog with your left leg high, knee circle, hip circle. Downward facing dog. Come down to your knees. Make your way to a seated position on your mat with your legs extended out long in front of you. Clear the flesh away from your sits bones. Bring your right foot to your left inner thigh. Sit tall. Point your belly button towards your left pinky toe and with a long spine. So press down through your sits bones, long spine. Begin to crawl your fingers towards your toe. Press down through your heel. So flex your foot, long spine. Come back up to seated. Extend your right leg. Bring your left leg in. Clear the flesh away. Press down through your heel. Long spine, belly button towards pinky toe, and crawl your fingers towards your foot. Come back up to seated. Extend both legs long. Press down through your heels so you get a slight bend to your knees so that all of your leg muscles are engaged. Long spine, again, crawl your fingers towards your toes. Make your way back up to seated, then lie all the way down on your mat. Hug your right knee into your chest, give it a big squeeze. Supine twist, right knee across your body. Left hand takes right knee across your body. Right arm comes out like a wing. Big breath in, big breath out. Come back to center, extend your right leg long, hug your left knee into your chest. Supine twist, opposite side. Come back to center. Everybody has a brick, so we can all take waterfall pose for our inversion practice. Extend both legs high towards the sky. Place the brick underneath your tailbone. Pull your toes back towards your nose. And press out through your heels. You can extend both arms towards the sky. I feel like you're floating. Even though you're laying on your back, you get the sensation of floating in space. Slowly bend your knees, bring your feet down to your mat, remove the brick. Take a final happy baby, bend your knees, flex your feet, grab the outside edges of your feet, press your tailbone down into your mat, press the back of your head into your mat. The alternating between the pulling in of your hands and the kicking out of your feet here in happy baby. Extend your legs out long on your mat. Find the corners of your mat with your heels. So get big and take up space. 
Bring your arms down by your sides, palms up to receive, palms down if you need to feel more grounded. Let your breath return to normal. Notice the air as it moves across your skin. Let your eyes soften in their sockets. The skin on your forehead softens. The skin on your chest softens. Let the earth support you. There's nothing to do. There's nothing to control. There's nothing to change. Surrender to your Shavasana.
fingers and toes. Bring awareness back into your body. Take in a giant breath. Open your mouth, stick out your tongue, make some noise. Again, breathe in. And lion's breath. Bend your knees. Place your feet firmly on your mat. Gently roll to your favorite side. And in this in-between space, between on the mat and off the mat, make a new list, a different list of three things that you are grateful for. Practicing gratitude is an access to joy, is an access to possibility, it's an access to space and change and freedom. Slowly press yourself up to a seated position at the front of your mat with hands at heart center. And we will close with a sea of ohms, three ohms. When you finish your first, begin your second. And we will fill the room with the sound of us, the universal sound of everything and everyone everywhere. Take a big breath in. Oh. Bring your thumb knuckles to the space between your eyebrows. The light and love in me bows and honors to the light and love in each and every one of you. Namaste. Namaste. Give yourself a hand.